In this video, I'm going to talk about the International System of Units, or SI units. This system of measurement was established in 1960, and since then, most countries around the world have adopted this system, which is also known as the metric system. The international system of units have seven basic units. These are length, mass, time, electric current, thermodynamic temperature, luminous intensity, and amount of substance. But there are many other units called derived units. And these derived units are built from combining certain basic units together. So if we take uh, density, for example, density has SI units of kilogram per cubic meter. And density is the measure of the amount of mass that occupies a specific volume. So the basic units that we use for density are mass in kilograms and length in meters. Another example of a derived unit is force. Force equals mass times acceleration. And in this example, it uses three base units, kilograms, meters, and seconds. The unit force is given the name Newton, or it can be expressed as kilogram meter per second squared. There are many more quantities like these that can be built up from a combination of basic units. In addition to SI units, the United States still uses another system of units called the US Customary System. In this system, length has units of feet, mass units of slugs, and time in seconds. So now I'm going to talk a little bit about unit prefixes. When solving problems in physics, you will often encounter unit prefixes. Unit prefixes are prepended to units of measurement to indicate the size of the measurement without needing to write out the whole value. Let's take the diameter of a hydrogen atom. And the approximate diameter of the hydrogen atom can be expressed with this value in metres. But writing it out in this way is really inconvenient. So instead it can be written using a unit prefix, like the example below. So here, pico is the prefix, which represents 10 to the power of minus 12. There are 20 SI prefixes used in this way. Most of them go up or down in multiples of a thousand. And here is the table of all 20 of them. So you may have noticed that your computer's clock speed is represented in gigahertz, where hertz is the unit and the giga prefix tells us the clock speed. It's also important to note that the kilogram is the only SI unit with a prefix as part of its name and symbol. Standard form, also known as scientific notation, makes performing calculations with very big or very small numbers a lot easier. It's based on using powers of 10 to express how big or small a number is. So a number in standard form consists of two parts. The first part is the decimal number, ranging from between 1 and up to 10, but not including 10. The second part is the power of 10, which is a multiplier to the first number. Here are a couple of examples. So if we have 4600, we can write this in standard form. And this would be expressed as 4.6 times 10 to the power of 3. And it's 2 to the power of 3 because we have to move the decimal point 3 spaces. Or we could have a very small number, which is 5.6 times 10 to the power of minus 5. So here you'll notice that the decimal point shifts to the right 5 times. The diameter of the hydrogen atom, as we saw previously, is 100 picometers. And pico is the prefix for 10 to the power of minus 12. But 100 times 10 to the minus 12 is not in standard form, because the first part doesn't have a value between 1 and 10. So we need to convert this.
So in this case we have 1.00 times 10 to the power of minus 10 meters.